Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving back into Edward Newgate for the intrusion and the final boss fight with none of the new batch, but the New Year's Legends. Now, lots of people have been summoning on these New Year's banners, and rightfully so. These banners are very, very good. And in today's video, we're looking at some of the intrusion teams and the final boss teams that don't use one of the legends. So if maybe you picked up Yamato and Rodan, but you miss Zoro Sanji, we'll have a team for you guys for that final boss with maximizing your points as well. Remember, along the way, the mini bosses just build whatever you want, really. Um, the points there don't matter all that much. You really want to maximize your points on the final boss and the intrusion fight that comes around every five stages. But if this video helps you guys out make sure to belt the like button hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff new gates the guy we're farming for let's dive in now if you did pull every single legend from the new year's batch i would build something like this you're getting 11.41 for your final boss against zoro 11.83 for your intrusion and then just keep zoro sanji for this fight against robin jimbe um you lose 0 0.05 of your points but this is the exception to where you're really only losing like half a percent of point. Like it's, it's not worth bringing Zoro Sanji over here. If you have Momo and you have Legend Nami, you can bring Momo over here and then run like uh, Yamato and Ace and then just bring Zoro Sanji across here instead of Kinemon. That's going to work absolutely fine. Uh, but utilizing Zor uh, Luffy and utilizing Whitebeard are your 1.4 times boosters anyway. And then you have Yamato for damage reduction removal and Roger and Odin to help you guys take down the very first stage. Now, the reason I've put, another big reason I've got Zoro Sanji over here and Kinemon on this team, really, you just want any 1.35 booster that's going to trigger uh, the Rodin Super Type or Super X, mainly because on the stage two, you get poison slots and there's no way of removing them unless you go in with one or rainbow orbs. So the way this team actually operates is we're going to use the EX on turn one and then use the special on turn one as well. You're going to have a Wano orb on Rodin. That way you're going to turn everyone's orb into Wano orbs. They're going to wave clear with their 1.5 million damage. And that way you move into this stage with Wano slots, so you don't have to worry about the poison orbs. Then once you hit stage two, you can use the white, uh, the Newgate special with the Whitey Bay support to get around this shenaniganry. If you guys are missing Whitey Bay, you're probably just going to have to tap and make sure your taps are on point. Bring a ship like the um, Aura Jackson to help you guys out. Um, or the Whale Shark ship should too. Once you guys have got your um, Whitebeard beard super evolved though you can actually super evolve him into this particular variation uh this one right here he actually removes uh barriers by two turns so you can just do a straight swap with your white beards or basically just super evolve your white beard and then just leave him on the team and that's going to remove the two turns of barriers making it a lot easier for your later runs uh it shouldn't take you that long to get to however many skulls you need um they like to hit like approximately 10 mil points, you're only looking at 24 nabs anyway. Um, so it should be fairly nice there. But if you have Whitey Bay, it's going to make it a lot easier and you can sort of leave it that way nevertheless. The support of Nami is going to give you cooldowns when you hit the final stage. You get an 80% HP cut. So you get the auto trigger to get around pretty much all of this with your friend Captain Luffy. Uh, with Yamato getting around damage reduction, Nami getting around the one turn of special rewinds. Um, you can do some nice stuff there. But Kinemon, he can also give you two turns of cooldowns to your slasher characters. Um, unfortunately, that means that uh, Luffy is not getting cooldowns. So if you don't have Nami, you can just literally use any cooldown reducer on Luffy. Like, literally anyone at all. You have Laws, you have uh, Mistems, you have Brulee, Mr. 3. You can use this Nami, like... You have a lot of options for Luffy, but Kinemon, he gives the cooldowns to Yamato. That way, Yamato can remove the damage reduction, and then you are in for a good time there. If you're missing Yamato, you can use Roger and Law. No, not Roger and Law. Law and Robin. That's going to work nicely, too. Onto the final stage against Sanji, the intrusion fight. To get around the poison, um, you need the support of Marco on Whitebeard here. That support is actually really, really handy. It can completely remove it, but you can also use Evenkov on uh, Luffy. On the final stage, there is um, Special Reverse by one turn once again. You're going to use Zoro Sanji to get around this shenaniganry. Um, there is Pain, there is uh, Recovery turn to damage, so just be careful of that as well. Um, so make sure you guys don't have any recovery orbs um, on your on your units there. You're going to get 99 turns of attack down if you're not a free spirit slasher or fighter. So make sure um, you super swap with Zoro Sanji. On the final stage, um, your free-to-play PK, Luffy's going to take care of the special bind. Your friend captain's then going to take care of the paralysis. Then to get around that special reverse, once again, you just need the Nami support. The Nami support's really, really good here. But if you guys don't have Nami, 
again, you guys can use a plethora of different options. You have Brulee, you have Mystems, you have Lore. Um, that's going to work pretty hunky-dory. The only character that won't get the cooldowns at that particular point is going to be your uh, Yamato. You can use something like um, Kaydad. Oh, actually, no, Kaydad won't. This, the, the actual Kindermon himself. Um, the, 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 the new Kindermon on him to, to get cooldowns for your Rodin. Um, but to get the cooldowns for this particular Luffy, you are going to want to make sure you have the Nami special. That's Nami support. But if you don't have Nami um, support, you can just use Kinemon on this team here. And that's going to work out pretty hunky-dory for you as well. Alright, so if you did some summons and you missed out on getting Yamato, she's actually fairly easy to replace on these teams. Again, keep Zoro Sanji over here. The 0 0.505 difference, it's just not worth it. Um, but you can just do a straight swap for Law and Robin on the main boss team. Using Raw and, uh, Raw. Law and Robin, they are going to remove the damage reduction on this final stage. Plus, they give you three turns of color affinity. It's not as high as Yamato's, but like... It's it's still going to be enough. You're not going to have the increased damage taken, but look, who cares? Um, it's it's treasure map. Like getting to this 25 navs is, is not going to be a challenge at all. You'll be able to do it on free stamina. And uh, Robin and Law literally just slide in on the team, super easy. As to the final boss, um, like I said in the pre previous fight or the previous part of this video, if you have Kinemon, you just use Kinemon for your cooldowns. That way, you don't even need the Nami support. Like she's just doesn't is not necessary. You can just use well, she kind of is because like you need to give cooldowns to uh, Luffy, but you can do something like Lore at this particular point. Um, Kinemon's going to give your slashes cooldowns, but he's not going to actually give the Luffy cooldowns. But he removes paralysis anyway, um, so you're going to get around that no matter what. You're not going to have that Luffy special, but at the end of the day, like who really cares? You can just use it on like this stage if you really want to. Uh, make sure you have the. Um, Marco's support on Whitebeard to get around poison. That is pretty needed. Uh, otherwise, unless there's a like a poison removing support for Zoro Sanji, which there is not, um, you'll have to like look at doing some stuff for like Ivankov for Luffy, and then just like having um, the Nami support over here on Zoro Sanji if you guys actually have that. But like I said, don't be don't be too discouraged if you don't have this Nami support because Luffy has just so many options when it comes to like getting around special reverse. Um, you have brulees, you have mystems. These are small rare recruits, of course. I mean, you can just use this Nami, um, the one that came out for anniversary, like, and year four, something stupid. Um, so you can use that option too. If you guys are missing um, Rodin though, you can do some fun stuff here. Um, Rodin's really, really good for these other fights because you can use him to get around the poison slots. With this particular team, that's what's really gonna struggle, but um, without having Rodin, what you can actually do is use the Luffy special on turn one, get yourself a bunch of rainbow orbs, and then you can avoid the poison sockets that way. Now, your middle two slots, they're going to have, um, they're going to have the, the poison orbs, but look, you're going to be okay because you can get around it that way. If you swap with, um, the Yamato unit, she's going to give herself a Wano Orb. And depending on how many taps you need on the early stages, you can just sort of bypass it that way. But like I said, using Zoro, uh, not Zoro, using Luffy on turn one of Zoro is going to allow you to bypass this particular mechanic. You don't really need his um, special for the final stage anyway, because you can use your free to play PKA Luffy to get around the six turns of special bind here, and then use your wipe it to get around this. Once you get the 80% uh, HP cut, you're going to get an auto trigger of Luffy, plus that's going to activate his super type in that, that point, and then you can use his super type to get around this on the final stage. Um, then using Shanks' special, you can get around the paralysis. Um, the one turn of special reverse, once again, is, is used always useful using nami but if you don't have nami again just use any of those supports that i mentioned just slap this crocodile support on robin and law to get around the damage reduction and then yamato you can just use her on that on that next turn as well so that's going to work out pretty fine again use zoro sanji over here it just makes life so much easier for this particular fight and then on the final stage against sanji once again we're using shanks um utilizing shanks and then just bringing pretty much everything that i've spoken about already yamato She's going to be Color Affinity here, and then Zora Sanji's great for Stage 2. And with that, you're still getting a lot of points, and you're still sticking around that 25 nav, nav level limit. Finally, if you don't have Zoro Sanji, that, this is where things get, get a little bit more challenging for you guys. Because it's, there are some options to replace Zoro Sanji, but like, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. Um... On the final boss fight, it's pretty easy because we weren't really using Zoro Sanji on this Zoro fight. However, you are going to have to look at shaking up this particular team here. Now, if you have Momo, he's just a straight swap in. Um, he works exceptionally well because he can remove seven turns of 
defense up and threshold. So if you guys managed to pick up um, Momo or maybe on part one and you didn't get Zoro Sanji or you summoned on Momo's banner for whatever reason, um, he's just literally going to slide straight in on the team. Like it's no, no ifs or buts about it. However, if you guys didn't, you can use this particular Zora right here. And if you do have how to use this Zora, you are going to have to use some funky ass support. I did put um, Yamato Ace as the captain. They're going to get around the special blinds because this fight's very annoying in the sense they give you one turn of special reverse, but then also give you five turns of special blinds. So Yamato Ace, they can remove the special blinds and then you can um, use their special for cooldowns. Uh, I was doing some fun stuff here with um, Luffy getting the cooldowns with... Um, Law, but then I totally forgot that there's actually fear for this particular fight as well. So that's a bit of a bummer. Just be mindful of that fear. It's a little bit annoying, but you can throw on this Kindermon support on Momo as well. That's one turn of cooldown. Uh, that's going to make it nice and easy for this particular fight. So that way, um, your kit, your uh, what's his name, your Momo is going no matter what. Uh, you really need him to get around that, uh, what's it called? That defense up and threshold. But if you, again, if you don't have Momo, you're pretty much stuck using this Zoro. He only removes five turns of it though. So you are going to have to find a way to bring some sort of like, um, defense up removing support, whether that be something like, um, what's it called? Uh, nope. Like Koyoshiro, or you could throw on this to Shigi and something else. You're also going to need threshold removers as well. So using something like this particular chopper is great. You could use the VV support if you have that. But then you're going to, again, you're going to need a way to get around the, the two turns of defense up, which you could actually do if you brought this Luffy because he could use something like um, the Sabo support like this one here, or you could even use something like Ace if you really want to as well. Um, that, that could work out pretty hunky-dory. But that's the big downside if you don't have Zoro Sanji is this fight here. As for the Zoro fight, pretty stock standard. And as for the final fight, you're just going to have to slide Momo in straight away. If you guys don't have this Momo, you're going to have to get around three turns of defense up and three turns of threshold, um, which can be a little bit of a nightmare. But it's not going to be the end of the world because, like I said, you can do some fun stuff here with Ace. Um, you could try and do some fun stuff here with uh, Grandpa Hio. Um, that's an option for you guys. Um, you could try something with like Cat Viper, or I think there's a dog, uh, this, yeah, this unit here. Um, Hiroguro for two turns of defense up. But at that point, you're shuffling around so many different supports, and you're going to have to look at probably just utilizing this particular Zoro, the, um, this one here, the free to play one, just to remove five turns of it regardless. You are going to, you are going to lose a massive, massive chunk of points though. Um, and it is going to bring you up to around still 25 nabs, which is, isn't the worst in the world because this particular fight here is the one that's getting most of your points. But that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. Best of luck in Treasure Map. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.